achievers this year. Matt Schaub's healthy. They got to think about 2013 and 2014. Are well, they making you know, the right decision going to Case Keenum? I think they are for a number of reasons. First and foremost is the contract for Matt Schaub next year. You know, he gets paid a million dollars a year I mean, per game next year, plus $10 million. That would be $26 million <laughs> for Matt Schaub. That's See not going to happen. And the one thing that uh, Gary Kubiak did say two weeks ago prior to Case Keenum playing against the Kansas City Chiefs, he said this guy will give us a spark. And you know what? He didn't turn the ball over. He took five sacks, but they were in the game. And I think that's why tonight – uh, if Houston can somehow win this football game, mm. their next three games, they'll be like right there with the teams that they're playing. Could they be 6-5 and five by week 11? There's a distinct possibility that they could be. I don't know. Let me play devil's advocate Oof. on this. And first of all, I don't think Why they can win this game tonight. Why are you shaking your head? Case, you, yeah. Come on, man. Because it's well, Tell him that he's wrong. Boy, no, I mean, this, this to me is the issue because if I'm, if I'm Gary Kubiak, you know, Matt Schaub's been good. Not great throughout his career. First half of the season, atrocious. Don't you want to see him respond so you can figure out over the course of this season if he's your guy for 2014? But I think that's what they're doing. They're trying to see if he's the answer or they're going to be in the market for a quarterback. But it's also giving up on your season. And the guys around kind of understand that as well. We're in evaluation mode. Who's going to be here next year? Coach, players. You know, who knows, all the way up to the I top. I do know this, though, guys. I, you know, and I've been benched late in my career, and then I got the job back late in my right. career, and there's nothing more motivated than a guy who is benched and embarrassed. And certainly that's exactly where Matt Schaub is right now. I would not be surprised to see him back on the field at some point this year. Uh, but, but the thing about tonight's game for them, if they lose it, then you got to believe that their season is done, and then it is really evaluation. But if somehow they can win tonight, now all of a sudden they become back into relevance. But, but here's the difference, Boom. You were number you were twice as good as Matt Schaub. Let's call it for what it is. I know you're Keep humble. Talking, I like exactly. <laughs> humble. Have you met Boomer Esiason? That's where the humble? pleasantries end, humble. by the way. <laughs> wow. Listen, you guys lived it, and I know that, and I know you say this to Craig on the radio. We, we talk, when you didn't play the game, we approach it more bottom line. We have no problem saying this guy's done, right. this guy's got no heart, when at, at the core, all you guys are great. But I'm going to say this right now. There is not a chance in hell that Matt Schaub is on that team next season. There is zero chance he's quarterback in the Texans. It is absolutely over. It's not good enough. Is Gary Kubiak? He's not. I think well, Gary Kubiak's Bart not makes as a well. Great point on new that. coach, new quarterback. Come on, just, what's so hard talk, about talk this? Talk to me four weeks from now and let's see where they are. You know they still have a top-ranked defense, and you yeah, know they that. Do. And that defense, much like your defense when you were with Rex Ryan and an inexperienced quarterback, so you in kept you in every single game. And those running backs are good enough but what, to control yeah. the but football. They're not but, but, but Foster concerns me because he's not been. Healthy. With a hamstring, you know, hamstring. as a running back, you see it with Adrian Peterson. You can't explode and, and make those cuts and kick out a tackle, so you become irrelevant. You know, we all know that the, the Giants, the Vikings, and the Texans, you could also throw, you know, of course, Tampa Bay and Jacksonville in there. But those three teams uh, are probably the most disappointing teams mm -hmm. at the halfway point of the season. All right, now this.